If Congress can't reach a deal to continue funding the government by this weekend, federal operations deemed non-essential will come to a halt. While some of the nearly 4 million federal workers will stay on the job, others will be furloughed, unpaid, until the shutdown ends. One week without a paycheck could be devastating because people struggle. During the 2019 shutdown, hundreds of TSA officers called out from work, many of them to find other ways to make money. There are going to be some people, depending on how long the shutdown goes, who can't afford to get to work. Fewer TSA agents could mean longer security lines in the short term, with the possibility of more travel troubles in the long term. It stops us from training and hiring air traffic controllers. What that means is, over time, more shortages, more outages, more potential disruptions. If your destination is a national park or a federally operated museum like the Smithsonian, you may not be allowed in if the facilities are forced to close. Meanwhile, maintenance of food, air, water, and workplace safety also likely to take a hit. Agencies tasked with upholding protections like OSHA, the FDA, and the EPA would pull back operations. People who rely on federal aid like housing or food assistance and even student loans may experience disruptions. A shutdown also putting U.S. credit on the line as ratings agencies consider whether investing in the U.S. government is still a safe bet.